Today we're starting off the video at nighttime and I finally decided to bite the bullet and go out at night in Shinjuku. I knew it was going to be messy and very, very crowded. I'm pretty sure this was during a weekday. I honestly don't remember anymore. I'm filming like 20 different videos at the same time, but this building is always spectacular to look at even during the day. But as I'm heading to the center, obviously it's getting more and more busy. My first destination was actually Omoide Yokocho. I wanted to see it and experience it a little bit. Saw a Haikyuu ad, the same one that I see everywhere. I thought they were done broadcasting it, but apparently not. So here's Piss Alley or Memory Lane, it's other name. In the beginning, it's okay, but as you go deeper and deeper into this alleyway, it gets so, first of all, hot, second of all, crowded. This was around nine o'clock and, you know, it's busy, but there are definitely spots available for everyone to sit down at. Then I started heading to, I believe, Kabukicho Tower. I'm watching these videos and narrating as I'm going. Finally saw Kabukicho's entrance lit up. I always pass it when it's during the day, so it's not, you know, as beautiful. I always try to lower the brightness a little bit, but as soon as I do that, all the lights go crazy. This is the type of place that's definitely fun with a crowd because there are plenty of open spots where you can sit down and eat and enjoy. It's not a spot where you stop and wonder where you're gonna go though. Like you need to know immediately. This is Shinjuku Ale. This girl sits on the windowsill and people used to wonder if she was actually real or like a robotic machine. Just because her gestures seemed like a little off, I guess. She used to cosplay the two girls from Evangelion and I guess that brought in quite a bit of customers. So she started cosplaying other characters. I really thought the Godzilla head would look a little more awesome at night, but actually I think it looks better during the day. So now I was heading to Kabukicho Tower and I was expecting to see kind of like a really impressive light show. Inside there's a bunch of places where you can sit down and apparently it's a little bit scammy actually. So be careful when you sit down there, but it's impressive because there's like live music, usually a DJ and a lot of neon lights and it feels like you're in a completely different place. But I go in and I don't know why it was just not like what i expected it to be the top floor also had like a game center and claw machines and gacha and all kinds of stuff like that but had visualized it a certain kind of way in my head but it didn't live up to my expectations <laughs> This group was playing some good bops, but this guy was vibing right next to them. <laughs> I didn't really want to film him. He was just having a good time, I think. So the band was also trying their best to not give him the time of day. <laughs> I didn't even go to Golden Guy, but look at this building. Why does this look like a PlayStation? <sighs> so overwhelming. Very, very overwhelming. I feel like definitely with a crowd, it's fun, but I cannot get past how hot it is everywhere. Especially Omoide Yokocho is so hot because the kitchen is literally in front of your face. I don't know how people eat with their long sleeve shirts and jeans. Like it's boiling everywhere else too like it's because of the crowd and everyone radiating like so much heat i couldn't even go to golden guy because i was like kind of over it everyone is bustling and hustling everywhere i'm just trying to navigate google maps barely and if you stop for two seconds you're in someone's way and Mm. I definitely triggered something when I bought those Hatsune Miku figures. So the next day, I went immediately into the anime stores. Also, just to do some final shopping, to be honest, before I leave. This book off is amazing. The toys are really, really high quality. Going to Pokemon Center is one thing, but if you want peace and quiet and also the same quality toys, come here. All kinds of anime merch, secondhand or not. Most of it looked brand new, to be honest. And I got a bunch of pins, but I was laughing at this character from Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, sorry, but who's buying him? <laughs> And then I spotted something and I was like, oh my god, it's just like in the anime. I'm getting that. Got a bunch of other pins from other anime and I wish I hadn't, to be honest, because I went to the figurine section, my true goal. And I don't really care about these ones, but I knew it was going to be loaded with Miku, so should have just went straight there. But look at some of these items. Like, they're all, I guess, limited edition, so they were hell expensive. This is definitely my heaven right here. I love that there's so much Hatsune Miku content. Remember how I said that I liked, like, Chinese outfits on her? Yeah. You're coming home with me, girl. And then I started heading to Surugaya. This was probably the first place that I entered, actually, when I came to Tokyo that was a secondhand anime store. And I was looking in the distance, and look at the line for the Cinema Roll Cafe. I feel so bad for these people. Y'all are going to be waiting until next year. I'm glad I went here second, because, listen, there were certain figures that were good, not Hatsune Miku related. But when I went to her section, I was like, you know what? I probably would have gotten something from here, and then later regretted it if I went to book off later. Also, some of the 
prices were definitely a little bit different but not anything massively crazy big boy godzilla at this point i had bought what i had bought and i was heading back home it was so freaking hot today and i had the audacity to put jeans on and not shorts or a skirt the occasional breeze definitely saved my butt i was a bad girl i did some bad things shout out to jojo siwa also my neighbor i think broke the door finally it's such a nice day but it's like 30 degrees outside. It's not for the week. It's not for a long sleeve. It's not for a shirt. It's not for jeans. I want to wear underwear and that's it. Now this is a fit I want to go out in. <laughs> Me talking about how I can't fit Denji into my luggage. Girl, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? I mean, obviously I'm not taking the boxes or I'm squashing them, but <laughs> the melon soda was the selling point completely. They got me fucked up. Then I got this. I want I want to customize my bag. Kunigami. Out of every blue lock character, Kunigami's pin was the nicest one. I got this. Aki. I wanted to get something from Haikyuu, but you know, that's like a central store in Shinjuku. Everyone's been through it. Oh yeah, I got this one from Jujutsu Kaisen. The Gojo ones were sealed and locked away, like all the good ones, because I assume people start stealing at some point. <laughs> But yeah, they were like under lock and key. I got this. Well, really quick before I start eating, I'm like a little child on Christmas day. I want to open these. Oh. <laughs> wow, they've wrapped her really nicely. <gasps> oh my God. She's very naked. <laughs> Gotta see the underwear. Yep, she's got some. It's blue. Let's open the other one. Costume version. China. Dorus, oh, Dores. Listen, I'm getting there. You give me more time to live here and I'll, I'll read the katakana like nobody's business. Let me look at her first before I show you. You always get to see it first. It's mine. <laughs> here she is. Again, the transparent ends. They know what people want to see. They do. Mm hmm. You want to see? There. Sometimes they make it a little too detailed. It's a new day, but I was passing by this tree and the smell that came from it, from these oranges and just the flowers that are blooming on it. Oh my goodness. Oranges, massive as always. You already know, but the smell is so good. Maybe you can't hear me because it's really noisy out, but I just saw this and I want to say it. Having a Bronco slash pickup truck in Japan seems like one of the most inconvenient things in the world because what? Where are you gonna park that? I've been seeing so many ads of this drink and to be honest, I thought it was alcoholic just cause it's like Kirin brand, but it's just green tea. Also, it's like national holiday today, Showa day. And it's dead, like everywhere dead. Supposedly shops are still gonna remain open. So I'm heading to Shibuya right now, but I think mostly people have gone just like on a day trip or wherever. Like golden week has begun basically. I was passing through Yayogi just because it's on my path and a lot of families were out playing badminton. It wasn't actually that busy. So I assume people have generally left. Y'all know on Twitter and on TikTok, the kids nowadays have learned a new word that they're using a lot, the word brain rot. I'm gonna give you a perfect example of it right now. So right after Yoyogi Park, there's this big football field and a bunch of teenagers are always playing there. They're having their lessons. Every time I pass, someone's playing. And today to distinguish the team people are on, they put on these red and blue jerseys, just like in Blue Lock. So my head is immediately like, oh my God, dude, it's the thing. <laughs> like, wow, Teddy, brain rot. Everyone has those to distinguish which team you're on in gym class. We had those too, but ours were like this ugly ass neon orange and yellow, not red and blue. I don't know, it's just like football and the red and blue and you know, Blue Lock, ooh. <laughs> As I said, brain rot. Anyway, speaking of, since we're on topic, I'm going to the Blue Lock event that I was gonna go to, but you know, it wasn't there at the time in Shibuya. So I walked all the way there. Here we are. It's very, very, very small and kind of underwhelming, to be honest. It was like marine themed for some reason. And a lot of the times, you know, because these are all exclusive items and one time thing, they're very expensive. To me, it doesn't really seem like getting anything is worth it, to be honest. Again, next day, there was so much content this day. Like I went to Akihabara to get more figurines, essentially, or to just look for merch, but mainly figurines, <laughs> that I made an entire video on this because I learned so much and I did so much research. I felt like it was necessary for anyone that's like, oh, looking to see what the current trends are, where you can get really cheap figures and not get scammed, essentially. But look at all the maid cafes. There's also a lot of garbage in Akihabara, actually. <laughs> garbage in the sense like, yeah, it's secondhand and most of the times you don't even know if it works. 
electronics, I mean. But look, this is like an original signature from Bocce the Rock, right? It's only like 125 euro, which for an original signature is not a lot, to be honest. Oh my goodness, what y'all know about this? What y'all know about Shaman King? Was it 22,000? Oh no, okay, I thought it was 22,000. Oh, yo, it's covered. <laughs> if you ever come to Akihabara, I'll put a clip of the outside of the place and a name. You have to come here. It is absolutely like a must. It's basically a whole museum. It's like six floors of only figurines. Hell expensive ones too. They are technically for sale, but don't be tempted to be honest. They're very, very expensive. And some of them are, I don't know, you can just find them in the store for like a fraction of what they're being sold at here. This place just makes them look all flashy because there's so many of them. Although this place in particular has a lot of rare ones too, so they're gonna be expensive anyway. If you wanna get it, get it. Like this piece, for example, is my personal favorite since like forever. Here's the map. It's called Akiba Zone. Six floors of figurines, I'm telling you. Like you have to come here just for shits and giggles and to see the art. I didn't even know who some of these were, but why is this character so freaking awesome? Someone mentioned Free Rin on my last stream and I said that there was a bunch of stuff that's going on like it's popular now and it's everywhere this is animate akihabara like as soon as you walk in it's just free run I walked in this random mall that seemed like it was just for like anyone what is this shoe store look at the size of them damn heels but this bag dying i need it i want it 20 euro sold i didn't get it of course there's like no space for that right now why isn't there space um just did a bad thing went to akihabara looking for figurines and we found them <laughs> if i stayed here longer it would get really dangerous i really wanted this bunny girl power she looked so cunty and this one whoever this is slay girl i was calculating how much i spent on the figurines in total all of them and it was something like 60 euro i thought it was well in the hundreds 